Hello boys and girls, in math today we are going to focus on subtracting ones or tens. So we are going to solve two subtraction problems today. We are going to solve 35 minus 3 and 35 minus 30. So I want you to notice something about these two math problems. They both have the same whole. They both have 35 as the whole. But the parts that are taken away are the parts that are different. So in this one, we're taking away 3. And in this one, we're taking away 30. All right? So we are going to solve these. And we're going to use these number lines to help us out. Now, you'll notice that this number line starts at 30. And it goes up by 1s until it gets to 40. And then this one um, starts at 5 and goes up by 5s until it gets to 40 as well. Okay, so these two number lines end at the same spot. They just get there different ways. This one is by ones, this one is by fives, okay? All right, so let's start off with this one, 35 minus three. Now, to subtract mentally, which means in your head, you count backwards, right? We're gonna keep using, we're gonna use a number line a couple times to um, subtract and count backwards. But soon, if you keep practicing this, you'll be able to do it in your head without drawing a number line. All right, so, so we subtract mentally by counting back. So when we subtract 35 minus 3 mentally, that means we start at 35 and we count back by 1s. Okay, so let's start at 35 right here, and we'll count back by 1s. Okay, 1, 2, Three. So we counted back by ones three times because we're taking away three. So what number do we um, did we end up with? 32. So 35 minus 3 equals 32. Good, right? Looks good. All right. Now, how about this one? Now we're going to look at 35 minus 30. Okay, so to subtract 35 minus 30 mentally in our heads, instead of going back by ones, because that would take a long time and we would totally lose track of what number we're on, we are gonna subtract by tens. How many tens are in 30? Three, three tens are in 30. So we're gonna start at 35 and we're gonna go back by 10 three times. Okay, so let's look at it here. All right, start at 35, right? That's our whole. Okay, so we'll start here. Then we're going to go back 10. So 35 back 10 is 25. Then 25 back 10 is 15. And then 15 take away, five, uh, take away 10 is 5, right? So you see how this went up by 5? So each time I went back by 10s, it took up two spaces because that's two 5s, which equals 10. So we went 35 back 10 is 25, 25 back 10 is 15, and 15 back 10 is 5. So see, we went 1, 2, 3. We went back three times, and it was by 10 that we went back each time. So 3 10s equals 30. So we did 35 minus 30 which equals what number? Five. There. Good. So with these number lines, boys and girls, when you're doing the problems today, you can draw number lines similar to this to help you out. Um, when you're using like the tens, you can go up by fives because that will make it a little bit easier instead of going up by ones and having to count all of those. Um, but after you've used the number lines a little bit, soon you'll be able to mentally do this math in your head. Like you'll be able to know in your head, okay, 35 minus 30, all right, 35 minus 10, 25, minus another 10, 15, minus another 10, five. Oh, it's five. You'll be able to do that in your head. I know we're getting pretty good at going backwards by ones in our heads, that's excellent, um, but we're gonna keep practicing that so we can do it by tens as well, okay? All right, let's see, let's try another one. We're going to keep the same whole. We're going to keep 35. All right, so we're not going to change the number lines at all. I'm just going to erase what we did before. So we are going to do 35 minus 2. All right, and 35 minus 20. Okay, so again, what number should we be starting on? 35, right? 
we should be starting on 35. So we're going to start on 35 again. And how many do we need to go back for this one? Two, we go back two. So 35 minus one and then minus another one. What number do we land on? 33, right? 33. So 35 minus two is 33. We counted backwards two numbers. So we went 35, 34, 33. So we can tell that 35 minus two equals 33. Okay, easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? All right, now let's go down to this one. So we're gonna start at 35 again, and then we're gonna take away 20. How many tens are in 20? Two, right? Two tens are in 20. So we're gonna go back by tens two times. So let's start at 35, and we're gonna go back by 10. So 35 to 30, that's five, so we need to go another five, right, to 25. So 35, take away 10 is 25. And then 25 take away 10 is 15. All right, so what number do we end on? 15. So 35 minus 20 equals 15. Okay, so again, you can draw number lines like this to help you with your work. That will be really helpful to have those um, at first. And then once you've done it enough, once you've practiced this enough, you can start doing it in your head and it'll be like super quick, okay? Now I wanna do one more with you, but I wanna show you another way to subtract tens and ones, kinda like the way that we've been working on um, a lot lately. So we'll look at that one. Okay. So I'm gonna put two problems. One's gonna be subtracting with ones, one's gonna be subtracting with tens. So we have 67 minus three equals, and then we're gonna have 67 minus 30 equals. Okay, so which side do we subtract first? We have our tens over here and our ones over here. So which one do we subtract with first? Ones, right? We always start with the ones. Okay, so if we do seven minus three, count backwards in your head from seven. So seven, six, five, four, right? So seven minus three equals four. Then six, oh, there's nothing here, right? So six is just gonna come straight down here, okay? So 67 minus three equals 64. This is another way to do it. You can use the number lines or you can also use this way, which is also helpful. Then we're gonna do 67 minus 30, all right? Seven minus zero, what does that equal? Seven, okay, it stays the same. Seven take away zero is still seven. Then six minus three, six count backwards three. So six, five, four, Three, six minus three equals three. So we were able to figure out that 67 minus 30 equals 37, okay? So you're gonna do some math problems that look like this. They're gonna have the same hole at the top, but then they're gonna subtract different parts. One will be with ones, one will be with tens, and then you're gonna subtract to find the answer. So try doing the math in your head as much as you can. If you need a little extra help, you can always draw a number line to help you out with counting backwards. Okay, so that is your math lesson for today, boys and girls. Um, go ahead and get started on your math worksheet. You've been doing so much with subtraction. You guys are doing an awesome job. Please keep up the good work and keep working hard. You got this, boys and girls.